Hello, good evening. I'm Heather Lee. I'm a lay minister with the Woodbridge Group of Churches and it is my pleasure and privilege this evening to be leading us in night prayer or Compline. It's Sunday the 6th of December and it's the second Sunday of Advent. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A few moments of silence, let's just think about the day that's just passed and the presence of God with us. And we want to be thinking about all the things that we maybe have done that we didn't wish to do. the things that we want to confess. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm number 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Scripture reading for this evening is from the Gospel according to St Mark and it's chapter 13 beginning at verse 35. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn. Or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. 
And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And we say the Nunc Dimittis. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We come now to our time of prayer. Father, we thank you for today. The day that's just passed. And we thank you for this opportunity to think about what we've done today and what we may think about and do tomorrow. We thank you that you've been with us all day and that you will watch with us all night. We pray for all those who cannot sleep this night, through anxiety, through stress, for all sorts of reasons, some of which can't be explained. All those who lie awake, Father, we give them into your hands. We pray for all those people who have to work this night, that we might sleep in peace. Those that keep us safe, those that treat the sick, those who have jobs that keep businesses running through the following day. Father, we give them into your hands. For us, we pray for ourselves as we trust in you. We pray that you will bless our sleep Father, we give ourselves into your hands. Draw us near this night, Lord Jesus. May the thoughts of you fill our dreams, that we may start tomorrow refreshed. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Collect for today, the second Sunday of Advent. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succour us. 
that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Thank you for joining with me in saying a night prayer and I hope you all sleep really well. <laughs>